Brazil, land of skyscraper cities, thriving seaports, glittering nightclubs, and only a stone's throw away, the world's most savage, unexplored jungle, its terrifying wonders brought to the screen in the pursuit of Kuruku, beast of the Amazon. Never before such sights, forbidden voodoo rites of head-shrinking savages, serpent and quatamundi in death struggle, water buffalo in wild stampede. Never before such danger. We'd better go over to them. Come on, Andrea. Me? Why? See the attack of the man-eating fish, the piranha, the bone-crushing assault of the giant anaconda. See white captives, facing the deadliest peril of all, Kuruku, lusting beast of the Amazon. emotional conflicts between a woman possessed by destructive passions and a man dedicated to building a bright new world. Starring Barry Sullivan and luscious Martha Heyer. He looks so funny when you fight temptation. She made of life a carnival exciting, thrilling sensations, each more dangerous than the one before. A woman obsessed, gratifying her sadistic, mad passions. Burnt alive, from the living dead, he haunted her every moment, awake or asleep. then return to wreak his unimaginable vengeance. Vengeance that matches the horror of his face. A face fashioned in the fires of hell. catch up with the plane and snatch the people out of it. The Navy versus the Night Monsters. Starring Mamie Van Doren, who triggered earthly emotions in the midst of unearthly events. Anthony Isley, fighting fiendish, crawling things. From Antarctica, frozen for a million years. To a small naval outpost in the Pacific comes a cargo of deviltry, devastation, Death. Attacking bodies, destroying minds. <laughs> Chilling terror in a desperate, endless fight against the nameless horror. Those things are multiplying. There's no telling how fast. I wouldn't be surprised. We've got up to be hundreds, maybe even thousands. The whole island will be covered with them.
Hi there. <laughs> I'm Herman Munster. Don't I look frightfully handsome in technicolor? <laughs> uh, allow me to present my wife, Lily. Pleased to meet you. And Grandpa? Hello there. I'm glad I was just hanging around the house. My handsome son, Eddie. And uh, the unfortunate member of our family, uh, my niece, Marilyn. Co-starring Terry Thomas and Hermione Gingo. Herman Munster inherits a fortune and a castle full of homicidal relatives. Hey, Mickey, what kind of secret do you think it could be? I don't know, but I'll tell you this. Last night, I was looking out my window, and I saw two guys carrying coffins into the building. <laughs> oh, quiet, Father. I'm trying to think. Come on, Babs. What's the matter? This is the secret of Monster Hall. Call the police. Right. Get the FBI. We'll do. Call Scotland Yard. Right now. Phone Batman. I got it. <laughs> Car 54, where are you? See Herman Munster in his Dracula challenge some of the world's fastest cars in history's weirdest race. Funny. Within the walls of this forsaken place, a monstrous evil lives. And the most incredibly shocking motion picture experience in years awaits you. For this is the Castle of Evil. Four men and two women are summoned from beyond the grave to keep a rendezvous with death. Castle of Evil, bringing an entirely new dimension of horror to the screen. Castle of Evil, starring Virginia Mayo, Scott Brady, Hugh Marlowe, David Bryan. Must have been a terrible fight. Yeah. The same thing is going to happen to all of us if we don't destroy this thing. Your attention, please. The producers of this motion picture have purchased an insurance policy from a major North American insurance company which guarantees a complete funeral, including casket, absolutely free to anyone in the audience who dies of fright during the showing of Castle of Evil. You have been warned. Your coffin has been reserved. Enter the Castle of Evil. At your peril. A brilliant scientist submits himself to a machine to prove his theory with disastrous results. Yes. Don't touch him! Suspense. Come on, girl. Wake up. Don't muck about. Do it. Shock. Ah, ah. Okay. Science runs amok when human beings tamper with unknown forces. Cut the power. There he is. Explosive scene 
as nature's forces demonstrate their superior power against man's efforts to interfere with the normal order of mind and matter. A shattering suspense film to rivet your attention from its dramatic opening to its devastating climax. Be sure you see this terrific film, The Projected Man. One million years BC erupts on the screen with volcanic excitement. One million years BC, when the earth parted and the mountains fell. Primitive man and monstrous beasts fought each other to inherit the earth. began has the primitive scene been captured for the screen with such imaginative realism. Ah! Behold man one million years BC. <laughs> Introducing the fabulous Raquel Welch, the sensational star discovery of this or any other year in one million years BC. See her as Loana the Fair One who deserted her tribe and risked her life to follow Tumac of the Rock People. John Richardson as Tumac, as big and strong as the beasts he fought for survival. <laughs> Nupondi the Wild One, whom no man could resist. See the fascinating, strange, and fearful creatures who roamed and ruled the Earth a million years B.C. Brontosaurus, a moving mountain of flesh and bone. The Pterodactyl, a flying reptile with giant teeth. The Flesosaurus. The Triceratops, a horned dinosaur in battle with the savage Ceratosaurus. You will share the unending thrills and excitement of a world of primitive wonders, of primeval terror and savagery. You will indeed live in another world, in another time, as the centuries fall back to reveal the Earth one million years B.C. Introducing the fabulous Raquel Welch as Loana the Fair One. John Richardson as Tumac. You are about to behold a sight so strange, so horrifying, so utterly monstrous, that I urge those of you who are easily frightened or upset, who suffer from nervous disorders, weak hearts, who experience nightmares, and any children under the age of 16 years to forego witnessing this exhibit. There are only two kinds of freaks, ladies and gentlemen. This is the story of Jade Cochran, a country girl who knew there had to be something better than waiting tables in a greasy roadside stand. Give me my check, Jade. She didn't know what or where it was, but she was going to get it. Even if she had to lie, cheat, beg, or steal for it, she was going to get it. For Jade Cochran. When the carnival came to town and left, Jade left with it. From that day on, something evil hauntingly clouded the trail of the gypsy caravan. Filmed on location on one of America's largest traveling carnivals where it could have happened. It began with an argument between Blackie and Pretty Boy. <coughs> That ended when a man was maimed. Oh, so you're going to take that sucker St. John down the line with Maggie Klein, huh?
Blackie's truck was the sordid scene of one midnight tryst too many. One that cost him more than he was willing or able to pay. Well, secrets from your husband already, huh? <laughs> Behold lust inspired human combat, all the more appalling in crimson stained color. You'll recoil in horror as something barbaric occurs behind the tent and tinsel of a monster midway on the alley of nightmare. You'll gasp in astonishment when you witness nature's human mistake. You'll see it all and more when you see She Freak and tell no one what you see. Death and Cameron Mitchell are your hosts on this terrifying, beautiful island of the doomed. They cater to your every wish. Sport for the sportsman. Beauty for the camera bug. Undreamed of species for the scientist. Romance for young lovers. And for the frustrated. Passion gratified. Two people died here last night. None of us could have done it. Don't you see? No man could have killed them. A vampire could. Is this the victim of a vampire? Or do the undead come alive to murder? Or is your host Satan's messenger? I don't want the world to know of my genius. <laughs> to see some scenes from the next motion picture to be shown at this theater. Now, the only reason for my appearance is to suggest that if you're the least bit squeamish, well, you've covered a horror, nightmarish horror, never before even attempted on screen. So please, if you're revolted by the sight of blood, close your eyes for the next 90 seconds. Thank you. Hello. Mrs. Pringle, I want you to meet my son Rodney. Now, Rodney's not an ordinary youngster that hangs out on street corners. No, indeed. Rodney's a good boy. And this is a little business I have here. I make wigs for the beautiful young girls at the college. These wigs are made of human hair. And you know how human hair is, I mean, after all. As you know, I couldn't really be in business without Rodney's help. He's such a comfort. And Rodney helps. Well, you might say he helps cut the overhead, if you know what I mean. Isn't Rodney precious? And smart, too. Why, I bet you can guess what he's doing. Right off the top of your head, as they say. You know, for some reason, people call us the gruesome twosome. I can't imagine why. It takes all kinds, I suppose. That's the name of our picture, the gruesome twosome. And I really don't know how to describe it to you. It's sort of a comedy, because Rodney has such a divine sense of humor. But then it has its dramatic moments, too. I suggest you see this picture from the very beginning. That way you'll know where to laugh. I believe that's all, sir. <laughs> Isn't 
isn't she handsome? Don't forget, dear. She's a picture now. Bye. See the gruesome twosome. There. Ladies and gentlemen, an extraordinary journey into the unknown awaits you. The unimaginably weird, dark universe of ESP, extrasensory perception, crashes into the mysterious depths of black witchcraft in a strange and mysterious motion picture unlike any you've ever seen. Something weird. Gifted with psychic powers even he cannot understand, this man finds himself catapulted into the supernatural, a world in which magic and witchcraft battle for supremacy with powers ordinary men could never understand. Around this beautiful girl whirls a maniac's bedeviled list of questions. From these eyes spurts a savage curse that kills anyone in its way, where love and violence have the same meaning where the flesh can be exquisite or hideous, where forces far beyond the cosmic smash together in a collision that can shatter the heavens. Only a madman could understand it all. Only a wizard or a witch could bring about its astonishing conclusion. We urge you to see it from the beginning. Something weird. the bright lights, the innocent pleasures, there lies another world, the sinister world of Dr. Diablo. The real torture god. It is not for the faint of heart. What you find there will be more terrifying, more horrendous than your deepest, darkest dreams. Who has the courage to try it? You, Jack Palance. Have you the courage to face what the fates have in store for you? You, Burgess Meredith, as the devil incarnate. What horror will you next reveal? You, Beverly Adams, what lies beyond your dreams to bedevil your future? The Torture Garden. Many people walk the length of its terror. No. I'll do it. I'll do it. This is the writer who shields the secrets of immortality. Did you know that there are ways to raise the dead? The rich man who'd sooner part with his life than his wealth. The money. The torture garden. It's where the devil calls the tune to play a concerto of fear. There's a man out there with, with his head all... No! <laughs> you are trapped. See, I promised you horror. And I intend to keep that promise.
don't say nobody has anything to fear from us. But we are going to control you now. It is the same spaceship you saw near the moon. That should convince you we do not come from your world. We are here to make you our slaves. and arsenals of all civilized nations. The most powerful, the newest, the most devastating of weapons. Blast into action in their effort to destroy all monsters. reaches out even further. A winged creature of terror becomes Dracula's most fearsome new ally. Enter Dracula's stronghold at your peril. There is one way into his innermost sanctum. Hey! Help me! Help me! One way in, and no way out. There is no escape from the creature that extends his power. There is no escape, not even for the protected, from the scars of Dracula. Take her with you. You did terrible things to her if you don't. Terrible things. And in the same horror program. Frankenstein, experimenting with the forbidden secret of life itself, molding his most terrifying creation. Frankenstein is back to raise the dead, to terrorize the living. The masters of suspense offer you a shocking bargain. Your ticket entitles you to be frightened out of your wits at no extra charge. continues long into the night. If the very thought of vampires makes your flesh creep. We call them the undead. Vampires. If you think all vampires are ugly creatures of the night, then you're in for a shattering surprise. Now this fresh, warm blood into a body of thy making. You see, I have studied your magic. I know the black art, and I want only to know more and more. Here, the masters are quick to recognize an outstanding pupil. The 
portrait of Camilla Karnstein. Died 1710. And you know who the portrait was of, Mirkala? But you are a vampire. Welcome to the finishing school, where they really do finish you. Avenger rises, the abominable Dr. Fives, the most deadly mastermind of all crime. Specialist in the fine art of bizarre murder, each more different, each more devilish than the last. The Scorpions embrace. You bloody man! <laughs> The eagle's caress. The sausage machine. The one hand persuader. Nothing to say, sir. Touche, Dr. Fibes. And as another victim falls, the world awaits your next blow of vengeance. Only one man, only one menace, only one diabolical mind could create such chilling terror. That's not a common thief, sir. Then, Inspector, we are faced with an impossible task. Well, there's no force in all the world could win a fight against such a supreme opponent. But you can't escape him. Hide, but he'll find you. Scream, but no one will hear you. From beyond this gate, this portal comes the spirit of a madman. What in the name of God? What did he do to make this house so evil? Murder, vampirism, cannibalism, drug addiction, alcoholism, sadism, mutilation. How did it end? If it had ended, we would not be here. Since Rosemary's baby, have you witnessed such a desperate struggle between good and evil? The living, possessed by the dead, and the furious battle of exorcism. Pamela Franklin. He's inside me. He's speaking to I can, I can feel him just waiting in there to take over. Roddy McDowell. The house tried to kill me. It almost succeeded. Clive Rebel. I don't accept this. I do not accept this. Gail Honeycutt. Naked. Drunk. Fighting. Oh, please get me out of here. Please. The spirits of the dead can indeed possess the human body. Florence. A nightmare within a nightmare. Legend of Hell House. 
for the sake of your sanity. Pray it isn't true. I don't have the food I eat. They only have chicken, vegetables I've never seen before. I'm sure they have no virgin meat. It must be tonight. The girls are beautiful. They look so pure. But how can we get at them? You are no attraction! How old are you? Little girl? You don't know? Boys do it, little girl. No. Your sister never told you. I would be too embarrassed. You are a virgin? Yes. You're telling me the truth? Yes. I believe you. <gasps> what are those marks? The kiss of Count Dracula. 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 <laughs> My body can't take this treatment anymore. After Andy Warhol's Frankenstein, here is Andy Warhol's Dracula. From the distributors of Chariots of the Gods comes the most startling motion picture of our time. The Outer Space Connection reveals astounding proof that Earth is being visited by travelers from another world. New evidence never before seen by the public. December 1945, while on a routine air patrol over the Bermuda Triangle, 
a squadron of Navy fighters vanished from the face of the earth. As frantic attempts were made to locate them, one last radio message was heard. Don't come after me. They look like they're from outer space. Don't come after me. A search plane was dispatched immediately to find the lost men. It disappeared within seven minutes. No trace of either flight was ever found. Earth Base One, an ancient fortress on a desolate plain high in the Peruvian Andes. They came here from a dying planet light years away to rekindle the spark of their dwindling civilization. While man still lived in the darkness of the Stone Age, these beings poured forth their great technology. Brain surgery before the dawn of medicine, landing fields for alien crafts, astronomy 3,000 years before the telescope. December 5th, 1965, while piloting Gemini 7, astronaut John Borman experienced the outer space connection. Loud and clear, 7, go ahead. Approaching at 10 o'clock high. This is Houston, say again, 7. So we have approaching at 10 o'clock high. What he saw was an unidentified flying object, an alien space probe launched by beings from a distant galaxy who seek to escape a dying sun more than 60 trillion light years away. Now, for the first time, the outer space connection tells the terrifying secret of these and many more bizarre events. Is the Bermuda Triangle a corridor to outer space? Will the ancient astronauts return? And when? Chariots of the gods ask the questions. The outer space connection gives the answers and proves that we are not alone in the universe. Don't miss The Outer Space Connection, a motion picture that reveals shocking new proof that Earth has been visited by travelers from another world and a bold prediction of the exact date they will return. Based on the controversial bestseller that is astounding millions, The Outer Space Connection, a motion picture that dares to prove the unthinkable. must have been a little after three o'clock in the afternoon that it began. The afternoon of June 3rd, 1916. Fire one, fire two. This could have been the end. The end of just another tragic episode in war at sea. But for the few survivors of a torpedoed merchant ship and the crew of a German U-boat lost in the frozen South Atlantic, it was the beginning of an incredible adventure. For this was the day the 20th century met the primeval world face to face. American International presents The Land That Time Forgot. An astounding motion picture based on the book by Edgar Rice Burroughs, creator of Tarzan and the most thrilling science fiction stories ever written. Travel through an underwater passage and discover an awesome prehistoric world for your life against the terrifying creatures of a lost continent. Come face to face with primitive man and learn the secret of evolution, the land that time forgot. Mr. Tyler! Starring Doug McClure. There's a secret to this island, something that we haven't been able to fathom yet. And whether we stay or get away may depend on it. It's action, danger, and adventure on an epic scale. How much longer do we give them? We're not leaving without them! Forget the bell! You will never forget Edgar Rice Burroughs land that time forgot. The year 2000. America is a vast speedway. People line the streets to witness the greatest drivers on earth in a race from sea to shining sea. This is a death race. You finish first, or not at all. Jet Race 2000. Every car a deadly weapon. Every spectator a potential point.
cross-country road wreck, and the traffic is murder. Who are you, anyway? Frankenstein. National hero. Best driver on earth. I don't want you to die. He was built by the world's finest surgeons to drive the fastest car ever designed, and nothing can stop him now. Death Race 2000, rated R. and turn them into zombies. You haven't seen Kung Fu until you've seen the seven brothers and their one sister in action against Dracula. and their one sister meet Dracula. There is a creature alive today who has survived millions of years of evolution without change, without passion, and without logic. It lives to kill. A mindless, eating machine. It will attack and devour anything. It is as if God created the devil and gave him jaws. <laughs> this is Universal's extraordinary motion picture version of Peter Benchley's best-selling novel, Jaws. I found out that a girl got killed here last week. And you knew it. You knew there was a shark out there. You knew it was dangerous. But you let me go swimming anyway. Yeah. 
What we are dealing with here is a perfect engine, uh, an eating machine. We're not only going to have to close the beach, we're going to have to hire somebody to kill the shark. Bad fish. But I'll catch him and kill him. Did you hear your father out of the water now? The shark? Swallow you whole. You're going to need a bigger boat. That's a 20-footer. 25. Three tons on them. Robert Shaw, Richard Dreyfus, Jaws. See it before you go swimming. Rated PG. Maybe too intense for younger children. serves us as a definite social purpose. Nations are bankrupt. Corporate society takes care of everything. I'm Daphne. Tokyo team has all these little short guys. No fair is greater than the game itself. It's not a game a man is supposed to grow strong in, Jonathan. significant game in a number of ways the velocities of the ball the awful physics of the tracks in the middle of it all men little men game this wasn't meant to be a game demonic possession lives and evil penetrates the soul. Step inside, if you dare. Who are you? Jessica has gone beyond the door. At first, she didn't believe, but she does now. George, you can help me, George. Take me away from here. Remember, Jessica, how beautiful she was. Sensitive, like a child. This is my child, mine, do you hear? I'll never let you kill it. It will be born. I'll kill anyone who tries to take him from me. I'll kill you, I'll kill you. Mommy, mommy. Inside her, a new life is struggling desperately to compel itself into existence. Just as I thought. I knew it. Is that all you're going to do to help me? The biological absurdity that the development of the fetus is proceeding with absolutely incredible speed. Papa, don't leave Ken and me alone again with Mommy. You can't stand the thought of their existing being so powerful and strong as to break through. No one must attempt to interfere with her pregnancy, you understand? 
The child must be born. Beyond the door, where demonic possession lives and grows and grows and... Beyond the door, we dare you not to believe. There have been films about earthquakes, airplane disasters, and blazing infernos. But there has never been anything like the Devil's Reign. His face. That wasn't your father. It was his face. Mother? Mother! Corbin! Damn you! They had no faces. The Devil's Reign. The 300 year search for the power to damn mankind is over. Fools! And the towering terror of the devil on earth is now unleashed. Burn! 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 The devil's reign. Hundreds of souls held captive in an eternity of hell. Seize him! Possessed by the devil. You, my son defiled all that is holy. Oh, my God, my God! They become his worshippers and his demons. Starring Academy Award winner Ernest Borgnine, Eddie Albert, William Shatner, Keenan Wynn, and Ida Lupino as Mrs. Preston. And with the special participation of Anton LaVey, High Priest of the Church of Satan. The Devil's Reign. Conceived by the producer of A Man Called Horse. Created by the masters of magic of Planet of the Apes. Together, they bring you a melting hell on Earth. And absolutely the most incredible, unforgettable ending of any motion picture ever. Heaven help us all when the devils reign. It was a day like any other. The air hung heavy with the heat. Then it happened. A crack in the land that reached to the very bowels of the earth itself, spitting out the fires of hell. And the gleaming black bug that had no eyes and looked like a rock. It traveled in the exhaust pipes of cars, making fire, killing, and infesting the land with a burning terror. Wherever you turned, the bug was waiting, ready to grasp you in its soul-chilling grip of terror, to push you beyond human endurance, and leave you in a state of blood-boiling fear that will drag you to the brink of your sanity. One man was determined to learn its secrets, to discover how it grew and what it needed to survive. The Parmiteras will eat only raw meat, any kind. At first, it ate only ashes, but now it needed meat, and it would get that meat from whatever source it could. It was a creature from hell, and nothing could stop it. The bug lives. The bug grows. 
The ordinary becomes the extraordinary as the bug brings you the ultimate experience in terror. A terror so real, it will make your skin crawl, your heart pound, and your soul scream for release from the bug. You won't live alone if you live at all when the bug comes to your house. You've seen all kinds of movies, but you've never seen anything like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. The Rocky Horror Picture Show is wonderfully weird. They're probably foreigners with ways different than our own. It's fabulously freaky. It's a trip to transsexual Transylvania. The Rocky Horror Picture Show. From transsexual Transylvania. The story is strange. What's the matter? It's the matter. And my beautiful creature. The scenery is smashing. The cast is completely crazy. This isn't the Junior Chamber of Commerce, Brad. There's a mad scientist named Frank N. Furter. Come up to the lab and See what's on the slab. And Rocky, his incredible creature. I knew he was in with a bad crowd, but it was worse than I imagined. A sinister servant named Riff Raff. And Brad and Janet. My name is Brad Majors. Just a couple of clean-cut kids. This is my fiance, Janet Weiss. Eddie. Magenta. When's the winner of Parker Pro Sylvania, huh? Columbia. Dr. Scott. Great Scott! So give yourself over to absolute pleasure. Don't See the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Somewhere inside Nazi Germany. This is Medical Camp 9. For these women, there is no hope, no escape. For them, there is only pain. Ilsa, she wolf of the SS. <laughs> Some, there was death, slow, brutal. For others, the chosen few, there was only Elsa, she-wolf of the SS. Oh. When a man entered her room, he never returned. Quite 
to sink. Of all the butchers in the Third Reich, none was as ruthless as Ilsa, she-wolf of the SS. It's 50 minutes now, my Commandant. Together with her black widows, she committed crimes so terrible even the SS feared her. There's but one way. You will never forget the terror of Medical Camp 9. forget its beautiful commandant, the bloody butcher the Nazis called Ilsa, she-wolf of the SS. Because of the shocking nature of many scenes in this film, it is definitely not recommended for the squeamish or easily offended. Ilsa, harem keeper of the oil sheiks. This time, she's Kadine, guardian of the royal harem. With her black beauties, velvet and satin, she's the real power behind the throne of El Sharif, a half-mad, lust-crazed oil despot. More wine for my friends. With his unlimited wealth and power, he can indulge in any pleasure, satisfy every perversion. And if anyone betrays him, his justice is barbaric and cruel. Under his tyrannical rule, slave markets still flourish where beautiful women are sold as harem girls. One more thing I have. There will be another one. But 20. What am I doing? Here is where they're taught all the ancient, exotic lovemaking techniques. Here they learn to obey. Look, bitch. Or die. For those who learn these love lessons well, there is El Sharif. For others, there is Ilsa and her love clinic. Here, the sheik's erotic excesses are cleverly disguised. Here, young girls are brutally force-fed, turned into grotesque fertility symbols for African tribal chiefs. Did you fall from your body? Is that what you wish? Defy the Kadeen, and you'll pay the price in agony and blood. She's deadly, bloodthirsty, and with her black bodyguards to help her, punishment is swift and terrible. Though she's vicious, she's still a woman with a woman's passion. Man that comes to me will not have to be dragged like some slave. And if a man is strong and unafraid, Harem keeper of the oil sheiks. Using fear, terror, torture, and an army of desperate fanatics, no one can stop them. With brutal fury, she enslaved an empire and shot the world. In the palm of your hand, when a tiny glowing crystal will guide you through an existence in which each day is more wonderful than the last, where it will be possible for you to obtain the fulfillment of every fantasy, the satisfaction of every vanity, 
the absolute attainment of every wish. Metro Goldwyn Mayer presents the Saul David production of Logan's Run. A fantastic journey through a world beyond imagination. Welcome to the 23rd century. The perfect world of total pleasure. Imagine a world in which you need never be alone. You touch a switch, turn a dial, and the perfect lover steps into your arms. Every pleasure is yours to experience. Run up! There's just one catch. When the tiny crystal in the palm of your hand flashes its final message, your time is up. Michael York is Logan. Run, Logan! Policeman in a perfect world. No! Trained to track down runners. Run, Logan! Until he is forced to run himself. Oh, He's a runner! Logan! I'm your friend, I understand. We all go crazy once in a while. But she's a runner, and it's over. Over well, 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 am I not? <laughs> Box, an incredible being, more than human, more than machine, diabolical guardian of the gateway to freedom, or Logan and the woman who loves him. like that before. That must be the look of... of being old. MGM takes you into a new age of adventure in the first motion picture of the 23rd century. Logan's Run. It begins where imagination ends. Return to Zion, and a comet fills the sky. The Holy Roman Empire rises, and you and I must die. For everything known, there is something unknown. On this night, Mr. Thorne, God has given you a son. For every blessing, there is a curse. I was at the hospital the night your son was born. I witnessed the birth. For everything holy, there is something unholy. What do you know about my son? Everything. For every evil, there is an omen. <laughs> 20th Century Fox presents The Omen, starring Gregory Peck and Lee Remington. I need to see a psychiatrist. I have fears. I have such fears. What kind of fears? What kind? Oh, if I told you, you'd put me away. It is a mystery beyond human solution. <laughs> this is not a human child. It is suspense beyond human tolerance. Have no fear, little one. I am here to protect thee. It is a warning. Mankind has feared for thousands of years. It is the omen. From the eternal sea, he rises, creating armies on either shore, turning man against his brother until man exists no more. If you believe in good, you must believe in evil. If you believe in heaven, you must believe in hell. If you believe in the beginning of the world, you must believe in the end of the world. You must believe in the omen. They're in 
and space. This may all be happening right now. 20th Century Fox and George Lucas, the man who brought you American graffiti, now bring you an adventure unlike anything on your planet. Star Wars. Here they come. saga of rebellion and romance. It's a spectacle, light years ahead of its time. I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations, and this is my counterpart, R2-D2. Hello. No, 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 no. It's an epic of heroes. and aliens from a thousand worlds. Star Wars, a billion years in the making. And it's coming to your galaxy this summer. These eyes peer out through time through space, to a land beyond imagination. These are the eyes of the tiger. Follow their gaze back, back to where legends first began, where fantasy is real. Sinbad and the eye of the tiger. Journey across the oceans of antiquity to a world of wonder and magic. Spectacle. Sinbad and the Eye of the Tiger. The incredible all new adventures of fantasy's boldest seafarer. Filmed in the miracle of Dinorama. You won't be able to take your eyes from Sinbad and the eye of the tiger. Coming soon from Columbia Pictures. Watch for it.